Today we're diving into a groundbreaking development that's set to redefine the way we think about software creation. Meet Microsoft's Auto Dev, and people are actually calling it Devin 2.0. Now, if you thought Devin was a disruptor, wait until you see what Auto Dev brings to the table. It's a powerhouse designed to automate and streamline software development. So we're going to explore how Auto Dev works, its unique features, and its potential to shake up the industry. We'll also compare it to its predecessors like Devin 1.0 and GitHub Copilot to give you a clearer picture of how far we've actually come in a short time in AI software development. Now, Microsoft has had a history of being at the forefront of software innovation. And with AutoDev, they're pushing the envelope even further, aiming to transform the landscape of software engineering entirely. Before we dive deeper into AutoDev, let's talk about Devin and GitHub Pilot. Devin made waves as it introduced capabilities that challenged software development as a whole, automating tasks that would take hours into mere minutes. Then there's GitHub Copilot, which is crafted to assist developers by suggesting code snippets and automating routine programming tasks. Now, while these are incredibly useful, Copilot's capabilities stop short of full development cycles. It helps with coding, but it doesn't handle building, testing, or deploying software, something you still need a physical human software developer for. So what exactly is AutoDev? Well, in simpler terms, AutoDev is an AI-driven framework that Microsoft developed to take on the entire development process autonomously. AutoDev is designed not just to assist, but to execute and manage software projects from the ground up, acting as a project manager, a product manager, and a software engineer all into one. Imagine having an AI that you can plan, code, test, and even deploy software without constant human oversight. That's what AutoDev brings to the table. It's like having an ultra-intelligent assistant that knows precisely what to do and when to do it. This makes software development much faster, much more efficient, and less prone to human error. So let's break down some of the core features of AutoDev. First off, it automates intricate tasks. We're talking about a system that can navigate through complex software development cycles, handling everything from minor code adjustments to major builds and major deployments. Next, AutoDev integrates seamlessly with other tools and platforms. So whether it's pulling data from GitHub, executing tests in Docker environments, or deploying through Azure, AutoDev can really handle it all from start to finish in the entire software software life cycle can be managed by it. And of course, AutoDev is versatile, so it's capable of managing multiple operations simultaneously. It can edit, build, test, you name it. Each task is performed with precision, reflecting Microsoft's commitment to a robust, scalable AI solution. Now, how does this compare to something like GitHub Pilot? As we mentioned earlier, GitHub Copilot is fantastic for coding assistance, and it suggests code snippets, helps with debugging, and streamlines the coding process. However, its capabilities are somewhat limited to those interactions within the coding environment. AutoDev fills the gaps left by Copilot and other similar tools. So it's currently in development from building the software to testing and getting ready for deployment. And it also ensures that projects aren't just started but successfully completed without needing to jump in and facilitate manually through the tasks. The best thing about AutoDev is that it's a coordinated network of AI agents. Each AI AI agent is specialized to handle different aspects of the software development process. So these AI agents work together seamlessly. For instance, one agent will focus on writing the code, another will focus on finding and fixing bugs, and yet another on preparing the deployment environment. So as each agent finishes their tasks, there's also checks and balances, much like a software engineer can. Furthermore, it's designed to be incredibly user-friendly. So developers can set project goals, monitor progress, and adjust parameters through a really straightforward interface. AutoDev also values human input, and it incorporates features for feedback and intervention. This allows developers to make adjustments or guide the AI in real 
both time. This collaborative effort ensures that while Autodev can operate autonomously, it also benefits from the strategic input of human experts. So let's talk about the impact on software engineering. The focus is moving from routine coding tasks to more strategic activities like overseeing AI operations, enhancing algorithms, and integrating innovative technologies. This shift also points to a more collaborative environment. Engineers are not just working with each other, but also teaming up with AI agents who can work on bits and pieces of their projects. This partnership aims to leverage the strength of both humans and machines in the world of software development. But more than just software development, the principles here behind Autodev can be implemented into fields like architecture, engineering, and even healthcare. With this new tech, we can have AI agents planning cities, designing complex machineries, or managing patient treatment plans right alongside a physician. As for the future of Autodev itself, Microsoft isn't stopping here. We can expect ongoing updates and iterations, each enhancing the system's capabilities further. Whether it's improved AI algorithms, broader integrations with other tech, or more advanced user interfaces, the journey of Autodev is just the beginning. Now for you, how could AI-driven tools like Autodev transform your work environment or the services you provide? Share your insights on the comments below. Please, we'd love to hear from you. And if you found this discussion the least bit helpful, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more tech insights. Thanks for watching. Until next time.